Hello, this is Lori Michelle, the Mashiach with commentary. Democracy is democracy, bringing viciousness, not virtue. You may not agree with that, right? Lots of people around the world espouse to believe in a democratic government, democracy. And my commentary is to reveal to you that democracy is really democracy. Demons, demons run the government when it's a democracy. And why do I say that? I say that because we're watching a horror unfold in the United States of America, and that is democracy at its worst. At its best, Maybe things go pretty smoothly for a little while, but it doesn't go smoothly every day or every year when the economy is good, when people don't have a lot to complain about. You still appreciate your democracy. We the people rule the government. We elect officials and they speak for us. But who's speaking for you right now? The country is so divided and so discombobulated and everyone's fighting that this is a train wreck. And it was a train wreck that was always going to happen and culminate in the end of days as a catastrophe. Democracy is idealistic that we could govern ourselves, but people cannot govern themselves. And if you believe in God, you believe that's true, that we need God, but you do believe in free and fair elections and a democratic government. And Hashem, the king of the universe, who I speak to, just said, and there's some truth to that. We want to be free. We don't want to be in a government that is authoritarian, a dictatorship. But... You cannot have an effective government that does not report to God. And he's real and he's watching and he's waiting. He's waiting to see how bad you need this to get before you listen to what he has to say. And the only way you're ever going to know is if you listen to me. And I know most people don't want to listen to me, but several of you are. And I'm doing this for you. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be famous, but I can't stop because you need to know what he has to say. Right now in America, the government is a disaster and they're working to impeach President Trump, former President Trump, unconstitutionally for the second time while he's out of office. They're making up the rules as they go. That is democracy or what I would call democracy. There's no virtue in democracy. Virtue comes from morality and morality comes from the king of the universe. And the Democratic Party has taken God out of government, which you might say, well, that's what the founding fathers did. That's what they would say, separation of church and state. But that's not really what the founding fathers did. They put God in all the documents in God we trust. And they believed in a creator who endowed the people with certain unalienable rights. And so the slippery slope of democracy, what became slipperier, more slippery, <laughs> with that document, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And I'm not gonna go there because this commentary will become much too long, but the Constitution, which a lot of people value, and it's good, but it's flawed. Why is it flawed? Because it was written by men and men cannot govern other men 
without God being directly involved in all of their decisions. Morality comes from him, not from us. And why is that? Because we, you know, he's correcting me, you all have an ego. You come first, yourself, your group, your family, your country, somewhere in you, you're looking out for yourself. And Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi will say, no, 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 we're not like that. We're globalists. We care about everybody. And I would say to them, you too, e too, Brute, you care about your virtue, what you think is virtuous. And there's a new term called virtue signaling, and you're guilty of that daily. But guess what? The Republicans are also guilty of virtue signaling. You're all guilty of it. Wearing masks that say what you believe in, virtue signaling. This is what I believe in, I, 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 I. My group knows better than your group. And it's a bloodbath right now. So much so that I can't even watch the impeachment trial. I'm just looking at some reports that come on my phone and the indication that this is democracy and not democracy, the way you idealize the government of the United States the one thing that I read about the beginning of the impeachment trial was that the Orthodox Jewish lawyer who is defending former President Trump was drinking water and holding his head. And that was big news, mocking him for doing that. And it had to be some kind of Jewish thing that he was doing. And it was, so what? He was displaying that he believes in the creator. And when he drinks water, he does what I do. He says a prayer, a bracha, but he wasn't wearing a skull cap. So he put his hand over his head to say the bracha, the blessing over the water. And that's a source of mockery when you have a democracy. Social media loves to demonize people and make fun of them. Like in the debate between Kamala Harris and Mike Pence when he had a fly on his head and they were making jokes about the fly on his head. Is that virtuous to do such a thing? No, it's not. It's mockery. It goes squarely against the king of the universe's laws. Do you know that? You might not know that. If you're a student of the Torah and Lashon Hara and read books about evil speech, you might know that. Very few people know that. You think it's fair game. They're on your phone or on your computer or on YouTube, and you have a right to say anything you want on your computer. Call them names, trash them. The Democrats, or if you're a Republican, you might call them Democrats, think it's okay to go after anybody who ever worked for President Trump and blacklist them, or to pull people off of social media, or to request from Parler who are their supporters and who's investing in them. And they wanna take them down because Parler was known to be conservative, right-wing, defenders of free speech. Do you know what God thinks of free speech? I do. Do you wanna know? Do you wanna know what I know? Right now, not that many people wanna know what I know. So we're watching a circus, a spectacle, a nightmare. And where is it leading us? To more grief, more pain, and while the Democrats and the Republicans are all fighting and it's a circus, the real enemy is benefiting. So I would argue that the democracy, democracy of the United States 
is run by a government that is committing treason right now. How so? The, de the definition of treason is aiding and abetting enemies of your government. And that's what they're all doing right now. While they're fighting and arguing and impeaching someone who really can't be impeached because he's not even in office and doing other kinds of crazy things and fighting with each other, the enemy is being emboldened. And America has many enemies. There's a country that I believe wants to kill, what do they call them? The great Satan, the United States of America. The Obama administration formed a deal with them, Iran. And as they were signing the deal with Iran, they were outside screaming and burning American flags and saying death to America, death to Israel. So that's what the American government democracy is doing right now. You're fighting, you're virtue signaling, you all know what's better than the next guy. And everybody in the government right now that's trying this case, this impeachment trial that was ruled constitutional already has their minds made up, every single one of them. And they're spending your money if you're an American are you happy? Does democracy make you happy? Happy, happy, happy. Freedom is your birthright. Democracy is democracy. It's not a source of virtue. It's a source of viciousness, divisiveness, unity. Give me a break. Unity. There's no unity. There's only unity under God because God gave us laws that are moral and just and for your benefit, not for his. He doesn't need laws, he's God, he's Hashem. And all he cares about is you, your goodness, your benefit to bless you. America, the Democrats, the laws that they're making up as they go, are they for your benefit? Whose benefit? Their own benefit. There's more common sense in here. You don't think I'm speaking common sense, but he says this train wreck is gonna get worse and worse. How much blood do you have to see before you listen to me? I don't know what the answer is, he says, you're gonna listen. It's not painful enough. It should be, but it's just not. You haven't seen enough people die. You haven't seen enough children die. The list of problems goes on and on and on. And they're worried about Donald Trump. Children are committing suicide in record numbers all over the United States of America. People are dying of this pandemic and they're worried about Donald Trump and going after anybody who's ever worked for him. And that's just half of the problem. The other half are the Republicans. And they don't want to hear that either. You need to hear it. If you go to school and you take a test and you get a big fat F on your test, you need to know where you went wrong. You need the right answers and you don't have them. I do. So please listen. I know this sounds like I'm self-righteous and I'm talking down to you, but I'm not. I'm trying very hard for almost a dozen years to reach you and I haven't reached many. So I'll wait and I'll keep posting. Democracy is democracy. Virtue you don't have virtue unless you follow his laws and you need to know what they are or you're gonna fail. And I don't want you to fail. I wanna help you pass every test. So start now, learn what's wrong, where it's coming from,
and let's get it right. Theocracy is the way, not democracy. God bless you.